Hello and welcome to BBC Caribbean Magazine with me, Debbie Ransom. And now, time for a little music. Let's hear part of a trail for a film which is hoping to do for dance hall what the harder they come did for reggae. Reggae is a style of music developed on a small island in the Caribbean called Jamaica. No problem. Irish. <laughs> But when tragedy strikes, I'm afraid your mother's insurance doesn't cover it. Can a community come together to save one of its most beloved citizens? Your dance teacher's a convict. Now you want to take him to Jamaica? Will Reggae Dance Hall be their saving grace? Now remember, you're representing a community, so please be on your best behavior. It gets better. Dance, everybody dance. From you get the chance, everybody dance. Passa, passa, and Monday. The film, A Dance for Grace, will premiere in Kingston next month. Made by Jamaican Americans, the film is about a group of teenagers in a small American town taking part in a dance contest to use their prize money for a life-saving operation. They recruit their Jamaican dance teacher to help them get prepared. It means an introduction to dance hall and Passa Passa, not just in the film, but for the actors. To find out more, I spoke to producer and star of the film, Orville Matheson, who was back home in Jamaica. I suggested that instead of doing the regular hip-hop that you've seen in this competition all the time, let's do something different. Let's do dance hall. That's my strong suit. Obviously, I'm from Jamaica. So they were reluctantly tried it. They weren't getting it. Then someone suggested that for them to really get it, they have to go to the birthplace of dance hall which is Jamaica. How much of it was filmed in Jamaica and how much of Jamaican life does it reflect? Approximately a third of the film was done here. We basically explored Jamaica's culture. I think that's what they needed to learn to understand the dance. So we went ever. We filmed all over Jamaica. We went through the history of dance in Jamaica. And we obviously, as a result of them being here, take them to see the country in its entirety. How much time did it take to get American youngsters to understand and dance in a dance hall fashion? <laughs> this project that we took a long time to complete, and that, it's because of that reason, among other things as well. But one, that's one of the main reasons, because what we wanted to do, we wanted to make sure that when we put these dancers on film, that they are going to look authentic, the dance. So we do a lot of training, and as a result of that, it takes a long time. Dance is a different kind of dance. It's nothing like hip-hop. And the film, we even address that as well. But it has a lot to do with the rhythm, not necessarily the movement. Now, what is the rating for the film? Because as we know for our BBC Caribbean audience, dance hall and Passa Passa can be a little controversial. Ah, good question, good question. Do you know that we're able to get this film to a PG-13? So <laughs> I, really? take, I take it it's not serious, serious Passa Passa going on on film then? Ah, uh, you see essence of it, but it's not blatant. Now, I understand there's an international feel as well to the film, so it's not just American kids doing dance hall and Passa Passa. Not at all. What happens is, like, for example, our story of A Dance for Grace we have our cast is from all over the world, very global. Two of our cast members are from Sweden, from Canada, the others are from the States, and then we have the Jamaican dancers who you would see would visit all these places internationally that are in the film as well. So we have a great blend of people. Now the publicity blurb for this film says that this is um, Jamaican film is set to do for dance hall what the harder they come did for reggae. Do you think the world is actually ready for dance hall and Passa Passa at that <laughs> level? <laughs> there are some who might argue in the Caribbean that maybe it's not something we want to share with the world. <laughs> Yeah, when, when you see a dance for grace, you realize that dance all itself, the dancing is really energetic and exciting and can be fun. The, the pasta pasta element of it is just one element, it's a little bit more grungy, you know, in your face. But there are other elements of it as well that are not being explored. And I think a dance for grace was able to capture that. From an international mainstream sensibility, yes. Absolutely. We're looking for something different. The world is looking for something different. Dance hall has been mainstream, but primarily underground for the longest while, and people have been really interested. But I think a dance of grace will be able to bridge that gap 
that will take Banfall to the next level. Orville Matheson there speaking from Kingston. And the film opens in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, followed by the rest of the region from November onwards. And let's end on a taste of music from that film. It's Everybody Dance by Marital Family. That's it for this week's BBC Caribbean magazine. I'm Debbie Ransom and thank you for listening. Watch Murphy, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Sherlock of the Warlock, every man will like y'all do the frog back, ah, kill our kill a swing, rave as slave as I do the kill a swing, take for yourself, take for yourself, black link them a take for yourself, over stadium full, over Mars 1, 2 and a raging bull, ah, stand by the action, watch time bless them a do the fraction, Sashi cool, Sashi cool, ding dang, him a do the Sashi cool. Pasa, pasa, add Monday, Wendy Wednesday, Buggy Friday, Hilma, Flanka Friday, Yama Sunday, Carawa Sunday, Exa Monday, don't get me there, alright, pasa, pasa, add Monday.